So the main components of the anesthesia machine uh, are the, basically the drug dosing. The drug dosing part uh, uh, is responsible for mixing oxygen and nitrous oxide, and this is done by flow control valves and flow meters. And basically, the administration of inhalation anesthetics, and this is taken care of by vaporizers. We have also the second component, the ventilator with breathing system. This is basically, as we said, uh, the same as the intensive care unit ventilators, but the only difference is that it allows rebreathing of the uh, expired air. The third component is monitoring. At monitoring, you have to monitor three uh, different things. We have to monitor, monitor the device itself, uh, device monitoring, which uh, 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 monitors the drug dosing and ventilator and basically makes sure that the uh, uh, mixing of the uh, inhalation aesthetics is uh, accurate as the doctor uh, prescribed. And basically, uh, for the ventilator, we have to make sure that the uh, amount of air and the pressure and things of that sort are exactly the same as uh, what the patient needs. The second component is the patient monitoring, and this is basically a regular uh, intensive care unit monitoring, which ba basically monitors patients' vital signs. The last thing is the anesthesia effect monitoring, which is a very unique uh, uh, monitoring uh, part, uh, which actually measures the, the depth of anesthesia. This is extremely important to make sure that the patient is safe and that the anesthesia provided is uh, is keeping the patient in a safe level and not uh, uh, in, a, in a deeper anesthesia than uh, needed or uh, allows the patient to, uh, to basically uh, be recovered after uh, the, the surgery is over. Uh, 